Welcome, 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 welcome. Come on in. Come on in. The door is open. The door is open. Come on in. Yeah, man. So, there's many people that just don't have the knowledge on this, on eating healthy. They feel that eating healthy is, you know, eating baked chicken or turkey. Because I used to think like that. I used to think, or I'm eating, I'm eating lean, so I'm gonna only, ha I'm gonna eat more turkey. I used to bring turkey sandwiches to, f for lunch at the construction site. I used to have the turkey sandwiches and, and 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 them uh and them kettle chips. You know how they got the barbecue, the jalapeno. You know them kettle chips. Yeah, that was my shit until I. I I got a little wiser, you know? But there's many people out there still functioning, eating meat. But then, since I've been in this trucking world, I'm at a truck stop right now. And the average trucker on this trucker, on this truck stop diet, I hate to say it, but y'all out here looking terrible. Y'all out here looking terrible. Some of y'all wives be with you. Y'all look a terrible looking couple. No filter. Like, God damn. I be looking like, God damn. So look, right. In order to maintain a vehicle... Let's just speak. Let's just speak with analogies right now. In order to maintain your truck or your vehicle or your car, your bike, whatever it is, you have to make sure the fluids is 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 at the proper level. You have to make sure the oil is at the proper level. And you probably have to do oil changes. You might need to change the spark plug every now and then. This is what we call a tune-up. So, since the the, the 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 car and the truck, all that was designed after the human body. It has an intake. Intake. The exhaust. You know, the, the digestive system. The heart. The brain. You know, the wheels. All that was designed off the human body. So, since you take a car and you have to do a tune-up on a car to keep that going and running right to a high-performance level, how can you never do a tune-up on yourself? Ask yourself that question. When the last time you gave yourself a tune-up? You know, just... And say, alright, for this whole week, I'm going to eat nothing but fruits and vegetables. Because I eat nothing but bullshit on a daily basis. Let me eat something that's going to flush you out. Because the average person is walking around with at least 20 pounds of shit in their colon. You know, your colon is backed up. And the 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 uh condition, the current condition of your colon determines the condition of your whole body. So if you if you got shit backed up in your colon, best believe you backed up. And a healthy colon is a healthy person. If you have, just like the color of the car, if you have bad oil that's not burning, best believe you're going to be on the side of that motherfucking road. Like, man, I don't, know, like, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It's not starting. It's just, it's just bogging out. Hey, man. 
flush your, flush, do a detox. Flush yourself out. You might lose some fucking weight. But I guarantee you're going to feel better. You're going to run better. When you wake up, <sighs> engine running, ready to go. High performance. Just if you took a break on eating all that bullshit that you put in your, all that, all that bad gas that you pump in you every day, pump some good gas, pump some 91 in you, that Tecron, (laughs) and see how you feel, you know what I'm saying, because you put in cheap gas, your car is not going to run right. There's a lot of people out here putting cheap ass gas in your tank. McDonald's, Burger King, and more and more bullshit. Got you, <clears throat> got you at the damn, got you at the, uh, got you on the toilet struggling, <gasps> doing all that. When you eat, well, if you ate a little cleaner and put some tech round up in your ass. And flush you out. You feel me? Your ass wouldn't be struggling like that. I hate to say it, but I don't hate to say it. The truth hurt. You know? This is a reality check channel. So cash this motherfucker in. You know what I mean? Because. Let's just let, let, let's, 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 let's break it down like a blender. I got a blender right here. I got a juicer. I got a hot plate to make my tea, and I got a blender. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with microwaves. The microwaves cause cancer, especially cause that's radioactive. And people, people be standing right next to it, sitting right next to it. You know what that is? Those, that's radioactive nuclear. Shit going on, and you just sitting there absorbing all that shit. You don't believe me? Look it up. But let's look at it like a blender. You take fruit, veggies, any fruit, no matter what it is pineapple, orange, apple. You take a veggie, but kale, celery, put it in a blender. You're going to get juice out of it because that's real hydration. That's going to hydrate you. You can get juice out of that blender, out of that fruit. That's, you make a smoothie. Combine a few of them, and, and, and that's gonna hydrate you. But you can't do that with a steak. You can't do that with a burger patty, a hot dog, chicken. None of that. You ain't making no smoothie up out of that. You ain't never went into Jamba Juice and be like, let me get that. Uh two-piece smoothie right now. Nah, they don't got that. You know why? Because that shit don't break down like that. That shit will fuck your blender up. So, if you can't make a smoothie out, so what do you think is doing up all up in here when you eat that shit? That's why your body is fighting to break that shit down. That's why you get tired when you have some ribs and shit like that's why your body that's why you get tired <sighs> sleepy when you when you eating that heavy dead flesh because your body is trying to fight break that shit down <clears throat> it's trying to break that shit down so your body has to work harder let's speak in trucker terms all right y'all see these trucks, right? Y'all been on the freeway before. And that, that freeway might have an incline. And 
dealing with a full load of truck. Eight, let's call it, let's call it 80. 80,000 pound truck. When that motherfucker going uphill, that moves, that motherfucker moving a little slower, right? That's how your body is after eating that meat and you, your body just tired. It's, it's, it's trying, it's working hard. That, that engine is, woo, it's, it's, you work, it's your body working hard as shit trying to break that shit down. But an empty, but an empty trailer truck, just that's just flying. That empty trailer, that's that's how your body is off that smoothie. That's my. Ah. You got a little more pep in your step. You know what I mean? When you when you light, when you eat light, and not heavy, you move lighter. I can't break it down any more than that. I can't break down the breakdown any more simple than that. It's something that motherfuckers can understand. Sorry for cussing. Just some kids watch. They probably hear worse on the playground. But. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just simple facts, man. If you ate a little cleaner, your body can perform a little better. But you know all this is gonna take some steps. But you gotta make the first step. If you're not willing to take the first step, then you, you ain't gonna get far in the building. And this is an upstairs. This is many floors. You know I didn't take. I have taken them steps. I'm way up tier with it. You know what I mean? I'm way up tier, top of the building. But you gotta come in the. You gotta be willing to come in the building. The elevator is broke. You gotta take the stairs. So come on in the building, man. Eat a little cleaner. Perform a little better. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Before your health make have to make somebody have to take care of you. Because People are always saying fuck cancer and all that, but it can be prevented if you eat a little cleaner, a little more often. Peace.